you know, the family motto is never complain, never explain, but it's just a motto. And it doesn't really hold... There's a lot of complaining and a lot of explaining. And private being done in through leaks. Through leaks. I thought that the, you know the four of us would you know bring me and William closer together. We could go out and do work together. Before it was Megan, whoever it was going to be. I always hoped that the four of us would get on, but. Very quickly, it became Megan versus Kate. How would your mom feel about your relationship with your brother now? I think she'd be sad. I think she'd be looking at, looking at it long term to know that there are certain things that we need to go through to be able to heal the relationship. I think she would be heartbroken that it's ended up where it's ended up. I think she'd be heartbroken about the fact that William his office were part of these stories. And William and I made a, made a pact, made a deal that no matter what, we would never let our offices fight against each other. Each other. The saddest part of it was this wedge created between myself and my brother so that he's now on the institution side. And I get, part of that I get, I understand, right? That's. That's his inheritance. Do you speak to William now? Do you text? Uh, currently, no. But I look forward to, I look forward to us being able to find peace. How I long want... has it been since you spoke? Um, a while. Do you speak to your dad? We aren't. We haven't spoken for quite a while. Um, no, not recently. There has always been this competition between us, weirdly. And he had a few issues which were based not on reality. And I was defending my wife and he was coming for my wife. She wasn't there at the time, but through the things that he was saying, I was defending myself and we moved from one room into the kitchen and his frustrations were growing and growing and growing. He was shouting at me, I was shouting back at him. It wasn't nice, it wasn't pleasant at all. And he snapped and he pushed me to the floor. He apologized afterwards. It was a pretty nasty experience, but... He asked you not to tell anybody, not to tell Megan. Yeah, and, and I wouldn't have done. I didn't until she, until she saw on, the, on my back. She goes, what's that? I was like, uh, he wanted me to, to, to hit him back, but I chose not to. Um, but again, so much of the relationship between me and William and the way that it played out was because of the narrative uh, or the, the distorted narrative that was being pushed through the British press and some people within his office that were feeding him utter nonsense. Do you think you have any responsibility in the breakdown of the relationship? I'm, I'm without question, I'm sure. But what people don't know is the efforts that I've gone to to resolve this privately, both with my brother and with my father. I don't think my father or brother will read the book, but what they have to say to me and what I have to say to them will be in private, and I hope it can stay that way. The board is very much in their call, but you know, Megan and I have continued to say that we will openly apologize for anything that we did wrong. At the heart of it, there is a family, without question. Um, and I really look forward to having that family element back. I look forward to having a relationship with my brother. I look forward to having a relationship with my father and other members of my family. You want that? That's all I've ever asked for.